Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss the fifth problem of Ad Coder Beginner Contest 266, which is throwing the die. So we are given a die with six faces, uh, equally likely one to six. And uh, what we can do, we can throw the dice and uh, we can get like from one to six, and we can uh, do the operation in number of times. And uh, uh, after throwing the die, if we get let's say x, our score will be x. Our score will be x. Mm, after getting x, we can either choose uh, uh, either uh, throw it another time it, if the number of turns is less than n, or we can just stop at the process. Uh, so you can go through the problem statement. Uh, so now let me explain the solution. Uh, so uh, so let's say uh, p, uh, let's say this is the first turn. So let's take the first example first. So n is equals to one. So if n is equals to one, then uh, we can get one, two, three, four. 5 and 6 with equal probability 1 by 6. So what is the expected number of uh, points? So um, it will be like sum of this which is 21 by 6 which is 3.5. Now now let's uh, go on to the second case where n equals to 2. So if n is equals to 2 and uh, at the first turn we can get either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. So if we get 1, uh, each of them will be of equal probability of 1 by 6. So if we get one and uh, we can do another turn uh, with uh, we can get 3.5 from this okay so we are getting 3.5 now if we do uh, two and uh, we toss the dice again throw the dice again we will get uh, 3.5 as the expected value similarly for for all the all of them the expected value will be 3.5 so uh, so uh, you have to maximize the probability, like uh, maximize the expected value. So if you uh, if you know that if you throw the die second time, the expected value you can get is 3.5. And uh, if you uh, stop at throwing the die currently, if you are at one, and if you stop throwing the die, uh, the expected value is one. So one less than 3.5. So you you will obviously choose this 3.5. Similarly for two, you will obviously choose this 3.5. Uh, similarly for three also. But for four, five, and six. Uh, if you throw the dice at second time, you will get 3.5 as expected value. But uh, at 4, you are getting 4. So you will obviously choose the maximum of 4 and 3.5 which is 4. Similarly for 5 and similarly for 6. So what is the expected value here? It will be 10.5 uh, plus 9.15. So 20, uh, 22.5 I guess. Uh, 4 plus uh, 5.9.16. So it will be 25.5 by 6. So you can divide this so it will be 4.25 I guess yeah so it will be 4.25 which is our uh, required answer so we can I think I have over complicated my solution with uh, kind of DP you can think about it in some different ways also now let me go through my solution or uh, you can do the implementation part uh, yourself also but I, I will just go through my solution one so uh, here I am doing some kind of recursion DP though the first uh, first one is so dick of i comma j i comma j the first one is the current turn and j is the uh, uh, like the value we have got okay so dick of i comma j and i am storing dp ij because i comma j may, uh, may come multiple uh, amount of time so i am doing the memorization part here so uh, for uh, for the uh, so let's say we are at i comma j and uh, so we will calculate all the probability value of i plus 1 so we will uh, calculate from i plus 1 comma 1 to i plus 1 comma 6 and we sum them up and we will get some expected value let's say e now we will compare the, this j and d so we will uh, store dpij as a maximum of j comma e so max of j comma e so that's what i am doing here i i am 100% sure that this implementation uh, could be done in simpler way also so dpij is maximum of j comma dpij and at the end we are returning the answer and uh, for every value uh, of this 1 to 6 uh, i am just adding this 6 up so 3.5 plus 3.5 plus 3.5 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 similarly i am adding all the values from 1 to 6 the value of dp 1 j for j equals to 1 to 6 and at the end i am dividing them by 6 and we are getting the answer i think um, i might have complicated my solution so if you still if you have any doubt i think you might have any doubt so you can ask me in the comment section with exactly what the doubt is and i will answer each and every query 
प्लीज लाइक द वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल थैंक यू